They call Greg Morris the ultimate road hoon. Oh God, what's that? Yes, driving in Sydney has its hazards. That's all I'd expect on a day like this now. When Greg Morris said, come for a ride in my new vehicle... It's truth. I didn't quite expect this. Nor did that guy in front. So you weren't happy with one tank? No. He's also got an orange one. Last year, after the refit, we took it out for a test ride. What was that? Greg wasn't good at driving then. I don't know, but I think it was silver. Nobody's gonna mess me around. Clearly, Greg was a boy deprived of toys. So when he saw a 1963 British armoured personnel carrier advertised for sale, he thought, I'll have that. It was pretty much scrap metal when I got it. And, um, yeah, over a period of about three years, we spent about probably 60, 70,000 bucks on it. Then the British were getting rid of another one. I think it served in Iraq in the First War, and, um, yeah, they decommissioned it just after that. 20 tonnes of LCD TV, stereo, minibar, armour plating. And does that cannon work? What's the fuel economy like? Uh, this one's probably not as good as the other one. Oh, really? Yeah, the other so one gets one mile per gallon. I think this gets about half a mile per gallon. <laughs> After spending a few hours in this, you really got a feel for the soldiers, haven't you? It's, it's not a comfortable ride. No, it's not by any means, no. Mm. no. I couldn't imagine spending any period of time in it. It's hot, it's noisy, it's rough. The rubber track means he can take it on the road with a permit, but only very occasionally, which is probably a good thing. Oops! Ah, oh, Greg's driving still hasn't improved, has it? I should point out the real guns have been removed from the carriers. They're fireworks, just in case ASIO is watching. ASIO get all their big leads from us. <laughs> yes, indeed. Tanks, Brad. See you next week. Oh. <laughs>